Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a little unboxing and demo of the supplies that come in the Well Inked subscription box. And this is a quarterly subscription box uh, based in Canada. When the uh, owner reached out to me and asked if I'd like to test it out, I was really interested and I really like to test out new sorts of boxes and they are quite new on the um, marketplace so a lot of you guys may not have heard of them before so I'm very excited to be opening this box up and to be showing you guys what sort of things come inside in case you're interested in, get in, in getting one yourself and I'll leave links to their website in the comments down below not in the comments in the description box down below and as you can see it comes in this nice little box it has this nice um, Ribbon all the way, um, not ribbon, my words today, um, has this nice tape all the way around that has their logo on it, which is very nice. And, ooh, let's open this up. Lots of black, sort of, well that's fun. Actually this would be great to use if you're into mixed media, you know, I bet we could use this in a project. Actually I think I'm going to take that carefully out so we can save it so that I can use that in a project of some sort. Right, so let's see what's in, what do we have in here? We have a nice looking brush, little, little packets, if I just, okay, just move that aside and put that over there. Well linked creative supplies, yes, it's a creative supply box. And so let's see what we have. We have peerless transparent watercolours and we have a little, oh these are little um, samples so you can test them out. I have a little look. I've never tried these watercolours. So these seem to be quite unusual watercolours. It says to use, cut a small piece of the colour film, place in a container and add water to, to dissolve the colour from the film. Remove the film clippings and delight dilute with, more, with wa more water if necessary. So it's quite an, sounds like quite an unusual way of using watercolours and I've never tried these peerless transparent ones before um, so I'll be testing those out in a moment. Let me just pop them back in and by the look of it we have four different colours four different colours and they are sky blue, brilliant yellow, scarlet and pearl grey this is an epic watercolour brush and it's a number 10 and well, that's, that's a lovely brush. And then in this little packet we have, oh we have some artist trading cards, some watercolour artist trading cards. I've actually been wanting a pack of these. I've made um, artist trading cards before but I've never um, actually bought a pack of uh, cut ones. Normally I cut my own but this saves an awful lot of time and that's really nice. Strathmore. 300 gram paper, so that's really nice watercolour paper. And I've never tried Strathmore watercolour paper either, so that's lovely. We can definitely do something with those. And then in this little little bag, we have oh, some more watercolours. This is a Windsor & Newton Cotman. And this is one of their um, liquid uh, watercolours, one of the tubes. This is Rose. So this is a Derwent Art Bar and this is Dark Forest. I've, I've never used these either. It says on the information that um, you can use them for making marks, blending and layering and then you can add water and you'll cause the, the, the marks you make with this to melt into the paper. So I guess you can, you, when you're doing your watercolour drawings, you could use this and then when you go over the watercolour you kind of erase the, the marks you make with this. Hmm, I have to do some tests and the last thing in here is it's a tiny little brush rest by Rebecca Graves Pottery. It's nice, it says one of our goals for the well inked box has to be has been to work with other artists and creatives. This watercolour box has given us the opportunity to include a beautiful handmade brush rest from Rebecca Graves, made exclusively for you. But um, because they're untreated they'll develop a patina as you use them. Oh I see, oh that's really nice to include um, to include uh, items from artists and artisans, I think that's a really nice touch, and it and it's a bit and that works really well for the brush because you can uh, rest, rest it on there without damaging your table and without putting it directly face up into the water. So that's a great idea. Okay, so these are the little bits that come with the box. You have four pearl, um, 
peerless transparent watercolours, four little samples. We have one Art Bar by Derwent, one Cotman watercolour tube, one number 10 epic watercolour brush, and then 10 of these little artist trading cards. And what's nice about this is that you don't really need anything else to uh, get started and to do a project because you've got your, your paper, your brush, um, your different colour paints, even uh, something like to do a, an outline with. And then of course you have your little uh, watercolour brush rest. And um, the only thing I need to grab is some water. So that's what comes in the Well Inked box. And I want to say uh, thank you to the folks over at the Well Inked box for sending me this box to unbox and to have a look at. It's really nice. And now I'm going to do some painting, I think, and test out some of these supplies. And so I've gone and grabbed some different glasses here because I wanted to um, use quite a, uh, several of these different colours and if they're in the glasses then it's much easier for you guys to see um, the colours. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of water here and put a tiny bit in the bottom of this glass. Now it says, I just grabbed my scissors, where are they? Oh they're over here. It says on the instructions here comes with um, the well ink box comes with this card and it instructs you how to use all the supplies so that's quite useful so if any of these supplies are unknown to you like actually um, it's actually quite a few of these I actually haven't used before but these I've I've never even seen people use um, it says to cut a piece and to dissolve it in water because it, it feels like these pieces of paper it feels like um, it's covered in pigment and it actually comes up a tiny bit in my fingers. So if I just take the scissors and I'll cut a tiny strip or half a strip, I don't know how much to, to cut off, and put it into the water and stir it around. Now, how dark is that? That is the question, isn't it? So if I just grab, don't joggle the camera too much. If I grab my um, sketchbook here, this is my multimedia one, so it will take watercolours perfectly. Right, so if I take put my brush in here, let me see. Okay. Right, too much, obviously too much water, not enough pigment. So if I put the other one in, you can kind of see the pigment, but I think I'm doing it wrong. So um, let's wash, let's wash that brush off. Right, so now I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of water in it. Oops. You just put tiny, 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 almost like a, a teaspoon. Right, now, let's try that again. Now this time, let's cut a little, a little square off, a little rectangle, and put that in. Ah, right, so now I'm getting more colour on that. And they're meant to be transparent watercolours, so that is something um, to bear in mind. Right, so I'm getting a much darker colour there, and obviously I can add, I can add more to it. So now I've got some yellow going. Why don't I try a different colour? So now, just just now, I added the water first, and then I added the colour. So maybe it says to add, it says to put the the film into the pot before I put the colour, I mean, put the paper in the pot before I put the water in. So maybe I could try doing that. I mean, I'm not sure what difference it will make, but I'll put that in there. And obviously these are quite large containers, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. And I add a tiny drop of water and stir it around. Right, so I've found a couple of other, a couple more little containers. And I'll activate these two last colours here. Then I have the Winsor & Newton and I'll just grab my palette which is over here and put a little bit of that in the palette so that I have some different colours to work from. There we go. Just move these guys out the way. Now if any of you guys have used the Peerless Transparent watercolours before then feel free to leave a comment let me know if I'm doing this wrong. Um, I've never used these before and that's that's the whole point of well for me that's part of the um, the part of the point and part of the the fun of using of art supply subscription boxes is that you know you can 
you can test out things that you you may never have heard of or seen in the shops, and that's something else because you often find things that are in the boxes that are perhaps um, things that you haven't seen before or haven't been able to get hold of. And art supply uh, boxes often get things. Sometimes they can have special deals with manufacturers, so they'll get to test things. Um, before they're available to the general public or they'll make exclusive items for boxes so that's um that's always nice right so i am getting the colors out and that is looking the colors are all really nice i wonder if you could apply your brush directly to the color and whether or not that would ruin the card well, i think i'll test that anyway for those of you that have used these, if I'm doing something that's terrible that you should never do, uh, let me know in the comments below. As I said, I'm just going to do it just to a tiny little corner of one of these sheets, just to see um, how, what I can help. Ah, uh, you get a lot of pigment on there. There we go. Oh, well, it's actually not too dissimilar to the mixture there, but. I guess if you wanted a very dark pigment, you could always just apply your brush directly to the card. Probably actually mix them in a palette like this. Cut your little squares and put them in a in in put the water in a palette like this. I think that would probably work. That would probably work very well. Um, and if you were travelling or whatever, it would work a lot better than finding all these different containers. And I could probably pour the different liquids into my palette here. Grab some yellow, I want to see how well these colour these mix. Oh yeah, they mix lovely. So I think if you were I think these paints could be useful if you were travelling or you don't have um a lot of space and then you can just mix up the you can just put your tiny little um cut off your tiny little bits of the watercolour pigment, put them into water and if you're using a palette like this I think it would be useful and I think now that I look at it I, I, I actually have probably more water than I need there and I probably you know I've probably mixed a bit too much uh, paint but I'm, this is the first go and then you can see what I do and then you can avoid making the same mistakes yourself um, if you get these so um, that's why having this kind of palette is good because you can, um, it's quite hard, if you're using a little container like one of these, it's actually, or, or a glass, it's quite hard to judge how much water you're, you're putting in there. And I'm getting all covered in paint at the moment, so let's see. Now I'm going to sketch out with the art block here. So there we have some, a very simple sketch of a few flowers. Um, I think that this block would be much easier to use if you were doing, um, I could see how this would be perfect if you were doing like landscapes and you were working on a bigger piece of paper and you were, you know, um, making long lines because trying to get details with the corner of this is very difficult. So now let's go in and add some colours. The art block is dissolving. The only, the only problem, which I suppose is obvious when you think about it, but the only problem is that it's dissolving into my colours. It's dissolving into um, my greens and yellows and it's making, it's making them a little muddy. So we may need to do a couple of tests, I think, today. But um, if you're interested in the art block, it's definitely dissolving nicely under the under the paint. So I don't know um, this. What is this color? Dark forest. So it it is. It's it's kind of like a grey green sort of color. So you could definitely, um, if you're looking for sort of like dissolve, a bit like you can get um, dissolvable charcoal sometimes, and it's a little bit like that, you know. Um, so if you're looking, it does work really nicely, and it definitely dissolving, but it's dissolving into my other colours and making them look muddy. So I'm going to set that one aside over there. I'm going to grab another one and try again. So this time I think I'm going to go in with a pencil and a uh, a multi-liner. They are, they are quite fiddly to set up, so I think it depends on, I think you could get used to, you know, you could get used to the workflow using them, and I do think I've used far too much water here. Um, but that's, that's, you know, that's all about testing, testing them out, isn't it? But it, um, I do think, I am curious, 
Um, I think this this brush, I am trying to stick to the supplies that came in the box. Obviously I've added a Copic Multi-Liner to do the lining and I've used a pencil. But um, the brush is really lovely. Really like the brush. It's a bit, it's a little bit too big really to be doing what I'm doing. I think it'd be much better for sort of washes. And it kind of explains, I would sort of use that for doing washes on landscapes and things. And so it, it does match very well with the um, art bar because again as I said earlier I would definitely use I would use that for doing more sort of abstract perhaps pieces things that don't need lots of detail or that you're just sort of penciling penciling in form it's using one of the corners to sort of try and draw and I think you could use it for drawing so you could if you were doing like a canvas or something or big painting but I think you could probably also, and it may be more designed just to use for making um, big uh, sort of abstract or, you know, actually using it as a pigment on paper. So that's really nice. I don't, I just don't think that there I was using it to its best advantage at all. So we're just going to ignore that. And um, that's probably for much more expression and uh, doing things like that with it. So... There are some different, um, they're the little pieces I've been playing around with. So anyway, um, that's the Well Inked box. And I want to say uh, thank you to the folks over at Well Inked Box for sending me this box to test out. It was lots of fun and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And um, there'll be a link to the Well Inked uh, website, the Well Inked Box website in the description box. And so that's what came with it, a Derwent art bar, a epic watercolour brush, this little, this lovely little uh, clay watercolour paint brush rest, a Winsor & Newton Cotman tube, four Peerless watercolour uh, test swatches and ten of these little artist trading cards. And that was the Well Inked box. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below, especially if you've ever used these paints. I'd love to hear what you think of them and how you use them so we can um, all learn a bit more about the peerless watercolours. And um, I will see you all again next time.